Okay. Do you know your history? Yeah. That's right, sir. Do you know the history about the crusade? Go ahead. Right. That's right. That's right. Don't you ever insult my intelligence like I don't know That's the right. history of the Catholic Church. That's Amen. Right. I research you devils. Amen. That's why I'm able to fight you devils. That's right. Why don't you meet with the priests from the faith? Now hold it. Hmm. Why are you asking me? Hmm. We've been calling for the priests. That's yeah. Right. Long time. They come. Long time. We've been calling for a captive priest for years. Amen. Amen. Long time. I mean, what I gotta do? Make a booty call to get him to come here? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Gino Jennings revealed the troubling and dark history of the Catholic Church and the immoral actions of some priests. This came after a member of the Catholic Church wrote to him, challenging him to stop speaking against the Church and the Pope. In response, Jennings delivered a powerful sermon shedding light on the church's past and highlighting instances of misconduct by priests. He spoke with passion and conviction, determined to expose the truth. Jennings didn't hold back, diving into historical events and current issues that have stained the Catholic Church. Gino Jennings shared that he had written to the Pope numerous times, requesting a discussion on various biblical subjects where he believes the Catholic Church has strayed from the original teachings of the Bible. However, despite his repeated attempts, the Pope never responded. In his sermons, Jennings exposed the dark history of the Catholic Church and the immoral actions of some priests. This revelation was a significant eye-opener for many people, as they were unaware of the extent of the Church's troubled past. Jennings' expose shed light on historical events and current issues that have revealed the Catholic Church true colors, information that had been hidden or overlooked by many. He emphasized that his criticism wasn't meant to attack individual believers but to call out that the Pope and the systemic problems with the Catholic Church beliefs and practices. Jennings argued that these issues need to be addressed openly and honestly for any meaningful change to occur if they are willing. By uncovering these truths, Jennings encouraged a conversation about accountability and the need for reform within religious institutions. His words were impactful, resonating with many who felt the need for accountability and honesty in religious institutions. Uh, this letter comes from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. This person says, hey, Reverend Jennings. Hey, what's happening, Atlanta? <laughs> Before flipping out with a hammer and breaking a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary <laughs> and the Christ on the crucifix, maybe you should find out what the real history of the Roman Catholic Church is, mm. the Blessed Virgin and Christ on the crucifix is. You will see that the Bible you quote from was actually assembled by the church and you have grown to hate and fear so that you have grown to hear, hate and fear so much. Let me say this. Mm. <laughs> what do the Catholic Church got to offer that make me afraid? Right. Amen. Please write me Atlantic, uh, Atlantic City. Amen. What am I supposed to be afraid of? Hmm. Being attacked by a priest? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> My Lord. Why don't you meet with the priests from the faith? Now hold it. Hmm. Why are you asking me? Hmm. We've been calling for the priests. That's yeah. Right. Long time. They come. Long time. We've been calling for a captive priest for years. Amen. Amen. Long time. I mean, what I got to do? Make a booty call to get him to come here? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> My Lord. Am I right, boys? Go ahead. <laughs> See, like that's the only thing that get them moving. Go that's ahead. Right. That's right, sir. <laughs> You have such guts degrading the religion that you know is peace and loving and won't come back at you because Catholics believe that violence just, be, just begets more violence. Oh yeah? And that to hate anyone is a sin. Really? Well hold it. What's so peaceful about you? Do you know your history? Yeah. That's right, Do you know the history about the crusade? Go ahead. That's right. That's right. That's right. Don't you ever insult my intelligence like I don't know That's the right. history of the Catholic Church. Amen. Amen. I research you devils. Amen. That's why I'm able to fight you devils. That's right. Amen. The crusade and the millions of bloodshed Amen. that the Catholic Church spilled yep. Amen. on the grounds of Europe. That's right. Yep. That's true, sir. Many, sir. Many. Catholic Church, years ago, they was the governmental body of Europe. That's Amen. right. They decided who lived and who died. Amen. Amen. Who you think endorsed the witch hunt? That's right. That's right. That's right. Catholic believers. Oh, yeah. That's right. Murdering innocent women, Amen. many innocent babies, Amen. and men. Yeah. You say you don't believe in violence? Uh -huh. Well, you got some Catholic men that were slave owners. That's true. You got some Catholic slave masters that.
women. That's right. Know your history. Amen. Before you write Pastor Jennings. Amen. That's right. By the end of his sermon, it was clear that Jennings' message had made a strong impression, encouraging a deeper examination of the church's history and practices. His sermons were impactful, using simple language and clear examples to keep the audience engaged. Jennings' bold move to speak out against the Catholic Church resonated deeply with many. This information prompted a re-evaluation of their understanding of the Church's history and practices, highlighting the importance of transparency and honesty in addressing past wrongdoing. The Catholic Church has faced numerous controversies and criticisms over the years, leading to significant backlash from both within and outside the religious community. Perhaps the most damning and widespread controversy involves the sexual abuse of minors by Catholic priests. These cases have come to light in many countries, revealing a pattern of allegations that spans decades. The Church has been heavily criticized for its handling of these cases, often accused of covering up for the priests and protecting them instead of the victims. The Church has also faced accusations of financial misconduct, including embezzlement and mismanagement of funds. High-ranking officials have been implicated in financial scandals, leading to questions about the transparency and integrity of the Church's financial dealings. The Church's history is marred by instances of complicity and colonialism, the Inquisition, and the persecution of various groups, including scientists and marginalized communities. These historical events have left a lasting stain on the Church's reputation. There have also been numerous debates and disagreements within the Church regarding its doctrines and teachings. The negative impacts of these controversies on the Catholic Church have been profound and multifaceted, affecting not only the institution itself but also its followers and broader society. The Church's mishandling of sexual scandals and other controversies has led to a significant loss of trust among its followers and the general public. Many people feel betrayed by an institution they once considered a moral authority, causing a decline in Church attendance and participation. The credibility crisis has resulted in a notable decline in membership. Many have left the Church in search of spiritual guidance elsewhere, or have abandoned organized religion altogether. This decline is particularly evident in regions heavily affected by the scandals. The financial impact of these controversies has also been substantial. The Church has had to pay billions in settlements to victims. Additionally, reduced donations from disillusioned members have further strained its financial resources. Controversies have led to significant internal divisions within the Church. Different factions have emerged, with some advocating for reform and greater transparency, while others resist change and defend the status quo. The Church's public image has been severely tarnished. Once seen as a pillar of moral and ethical guidance to some, it is now often viewed with suspicion and skepticism. This damaged reputation affects the Church's ability to influence public discourse and social policies. The victims of misconduct have suffered immensely. Many have experienced long-term psychological and emotional trauma, and the Church's failure to address their suffering adequately has compounded their pain. The lack of justice and recognition has left many victims feeling abandoned and neglected. The Church's ability to act as a moral authority has been compromised. Its teachings on ethical and moral issues are now often questioned, and its guidance is viewed with doubt. This erosion of moral authority diminishes the Church's role in shaping societal values and norms. The scandals have led to increased legal scrutiny and regulatory oversight. Governments and legal systems in various countries have launched investigations and imposed stricter regulations on the Church, further complicating its operations. The cumulative effect of these negative impacts is a weakened institution struggling to regain its footing. Gino Jennings' exposure of these controversies has added to the pressure on the Catholic Church to confront its past and present failings openly and honestly, paving the way for potential transformation and healing. The backlash from these controversies has been substantial. Many have called for greater accountability, transparency, and reform within the Church. Victims of many allegations and their advocates demand justice and compensation. Faithful members and the public alike have been shocked and disheartened by the revelations, leading to a decline in trust and attendance in some areas. Gino Jennings' exposure of these issues has brought renewed attention to the Church's dark history, prompting many to reconsider their views and demand change. His call for a dialogue with the Pope on biblical subjects where he believes the Church has deviated further underscores the need for open discussion and reform. For many, Jennings' revelations were an eye-opener, highlighting the importance of addressing these issues head-on to restore faith and integrity in religious institutions. Many people appreciate Gino Jennings for his courage in standing up to the Catholic Church and exposing its controversies. 
His willingness to address these sensitive and often hidden issues has resonated with a broad audience, including those within the church who seek truth and reform. Jennings' boldness is seen as a vital quality in a preacher. His fearless approach in tackling uncomfortable topics and challenging powerful institutions is a testament to his dedication to his faith and to the well-being of his followers. This kind of fearless preaching is crucial because it promotes transparency. By exposing the dark history and ongoing issues within the Catholic Church, Jennings encourages transparency and honesty. This is essential for any institution claiming moral authority, as it builds trust and accountability. Jennings' actions put pressure on the Catholic Church to address its failings and make necessary reforms. His boldness inspires others to demand change and hold religious leaders accountable for their actions. By speaking out, Jennings gives a voice to persons who have fell victims of the Catholic Church. His advocacy brings their suffering into the spotlight, urging the Church to take meaningful steps toward justice and healing. For many believers, seeing a preacher stand up for what is right, even in the face of powerful opposition, strengthens their faith. It reassures them that their leader is committed to upholding the principles of the faith, no matter the cost. Jennings' challenges to the Pope to discuss biblical deviations show the importance of open dialogue in religious discourse. This openness can lead to a deeper understanding and transformation of the Catholic Church. His fearless stance serves as an inspiration to other religious leaders and believers. It shows that standing up for truth and justice is possible and necessary, even when it involves confronting established institutions. The appreciation for Gino Jennings highlights the crucial role of a fearless and bold preacher in today's world. Such leaders are God-sent, providing guidance and strength to their communities. Jennings' actions exemplify the power of faith-driven courage, proving that one person's commitment to truth can inspire and instigate significant change. Gino Jennings' fearless stand against the Catholic Church has had a profound impact, shedding light on its troubled history and current issues. His persistent attempts to engage the Pope in discussions about biblical deviations, despite being ignored, underscore his commitment to transparency and reform. Jennings' bold exposure of the Church's controversies has been an eye-opener for many, revealing a depth of misconduct and systemic problems previously unknown to them. The appreciation for Jennings stems from his unwavering dedication to truth and justice. His actions have highlighted the critical role of a bold and fearless preacher in promoting transparency, encouraging reform, supporting victims, and inspiring faith. Jennings' courage serves as a beacon for others, demonstrating that confronting powerful institutions with integrity and conviction can lead to significant and necessary changes. Through his efforts, Jennings has not only called for accountability within the Catholic Church but has also reinforced the importance of honest and open dialogue in religious discourse. His example shows that true leadership involves standing up for what is right, even in the face of formidable opposition and inspires others to follow suit in their pursuit of truth and justice. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.